Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the RBD cluster node. So first of all, let us take geometry and just go inside. So in this case, I will take a spear node to fracture. So just like I will take a spear and now we need to convert it into volume. So I will take an ISO offset and we'll connect this. And now I will increase the uniform sampling divisions to like uh, 50. And now we will convert it into points. So in order to do that, we will take an scatter node. And now it has been converted into points. So we need to fracture this spear by using this scatter point. So we will take an Voronoi fracture. And just will connect here. And here you can see uh, it required the points. So we need to connect these scatter points and just will enable. So now see it has been uh, created the fracture onto this model. So next we will take an RBD cluster node, RBD cluster node. So just we need to connect after this for any fracture and enable this. And now what the thing is, so if you want to see this, uh, we can enable this visualizer. So now you can see it has been randomly created the pieces for the object. So in order to see it properly, we can take it exploded view. And just we will connect here. And now you can see we got this uh, view here. So we have some settings in this RBD cluster. So you can use this uh, detached ratio so that we can increase and decrease the ratio. And also like, uh, suppose if I want some big pieces, so we can disable this option like random detach. And now we can see we can increase and decrease the size so that we will get this thing. See, now we got this. So let's say 0 0.4 or something. So we got this view. So according to our requirement, we can increase and decrease the number of pieces. So if you increase the value, then it is going to be like uh, increase the size of the pieces. And if you decrease, now it is going to increase the number of pieces here. So let's say if I give the value to 0 0.4 or something, now we got these pieces. And next in case, if you want to increase the interior details of this uh, explosion. So for example, now we got, we have this less number of subdivisions. So in case, if you want to increase more details inside, so we can take a node called RDD interior details. So if you select this and if you connect, and now see it has been increased the details. So if you want to increase more, you can give the value. So just let's say we will give to 0 0.02 or something. So see now it has been increased the number of details for the interior. So according to your requirement, we can increase and decrease the number of uh, details for this interior. So just we will disable this visualizer. So if I go to this cluster node and just I will disable this. Now we got this nice explosion. And now in case if you want to give any animation for this, uh, we can give the animation for this exploded view. For example, suppose if I go to the first frame and you can give the animation. So like if you want to give the animation, alt left click so that it will create the keyframe. And after some frames, just will give the value and just alt left click again. So now we got this uh, explosion animation. So in this way, we can use the like RBD cluster to fracture these models and to create the nice details in the interior. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.